Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We trust these short online services will inspire you and ennoble you, giving you hope and courage as you shadow God in the redemption of the world. Welcome to church, everybody. The earth may wear out, but heaven stands eternal, our home forever. Isaiah 51, verse 6. Lift up your eyes to the heavens. Look at the earth beneath, for the heavens vanish like smoke. The earth will wear out like a garment, and they who dwell in it will die in like manner. But my salvation will be forever, and my righteousness will never be dismayed. Now, I love pieces of the Bible like this. In fact, I think the prophets really open up in meaning and significance for us when we read them like in microcosm, just in little chunks. They're they're so poetic, they're they're so particular. And here we have to ask ourselves, what's this guy mean when he speaks on behalf of God and says that the heavens and the earth are going to vanish? Like, does it mean that everything's going to die? Well, the earth is the place where we find our sustenance. And heaven is the place where we look for hope. The heavens is the abode of the gods in the ancient world. So what's he really saying? He's saying, look, the place that we find our sustenance could, could, be, could be the literal physical ground, could be our jobs. The place, that, that could go away in an instant. Poof, nothing. And the place where we find our hope, that sense of aspiration and, 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 and loftiness, man, that, that could disappear. But what doesn't disappear, where we ought to fix our eyes, is on God. Now, this is so critical because God is the maker of heaven and earth, right? 
And, and so many of us, we, we take our hope and our comfort from heaven, but really the hope of heaven, the, the promise of eternal life, it's not the promise of going to heaven, it's the promise of being in the presence of God. So, so when here the prophet Isaiah, speaking with the God's own voice, says, my salvation will be forever, my righteousness will never be dismayed, he's telling us that even if there was no heaven in the way that they thought about it then, that, that there's still God eternal and we get to be with him. So here's four things that I think there's always going to be more of, four things that will always remind us that, that salvation lives forever, God is forever, and righteousness will be forever. Number one, there's always going to be more goodness to come. You might feel like you're at the end of your rope. You might feel like there's nothing anywhere to look forward to. God's promise to you is this may be bad, but there's more good stuff coming. Just hang on. Number two, that there's more life to come. It could be eternal life, abundant life, life everlasting in the presence of God in heaven. There's more. There's more life to come. So you might feel like dying. You might feel like your life is over. You might feel like there's no point in living. Hang on, brother. Help is coming. God's got life for you and for the people who you love. And that's number three. There's more love to come. Right now, it might feel like that love is truncated and cut off. You're like, you're not receiving it. You can't give it. Like love is stunted and not going anywhere. That's just not true. Don't let your feelings determine your reality. You have been made by God in love and you have been made for love. You have more love to give and there is more love coming your way to receive. And last but not least, these other three things are true and so much more because there is more of God's presence to come in this life and later. And when you need it, when it's dark, when you're lonely, when you're hurting, you can draw deeply on the presence of God because he's got more for you. So stay strong, stay true. His salvation in Endures, and you're going to endure with them. What is our promise from God? Not to leave the earth, 
but for heaven to invade, and thus the earth will be new. Grace and peace, everybody. Thank you for joining us this week on the West Winds Breviary.